All right, guys. Uh, today, we have talked about addition and subtraction of fractions in the past. Now we're going to go to something that students tend to like a little bit more because it's probably easier. That is multiplication of fractions. All right. So um, there are no vocab words. So if you can go ahead and grab your book and flip over to page 314 and 315. 314 and 315. Three fourteen and three fifteen. Okay, so for our examples, let's go ahead and let's take a look at page three fourteen. All right, let's take a look at problem number two. We're going to start off with a, an easier type of problem here. Number two is negative one fourth times negative eight ninths. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Okay? Step one. Alright, step one is is you're always gonna want to do this is convert any mixed numbers to improper fractions. Okay? Now I'll go ahead and write that down. Okay, so in this case, guess what? We don't have to worry about step one. There are no mixed numbers. Okay, so step two, step two is we have negative fractions here. Now, when you're multiplying or dividing positive and negative integers, like negative five or, you know, positive six or whatever it is, remember what I've taught you is that you go ahead and you go ahead and calculate it but ignore the signs and that's what we're going to do right now we're going to go ahead and ignore the negative signs remember this is multiplication so I ignore them and then what I'm going to then go ahead and do is step three I'm going to go ahead and just multiply my numerators so one times eight is eight easy enough step four I'm actually going to do the same thing but with the denominators 4 times 9 is 36. Now, of course, step 5 is pretty crucial, and this is where we see it, and probably most of you guys can guess it, and that is we need to make sure that we simplify or reduce this fraction here. Now, I know that they're both even, so I can divide both top and bottom, numerator and denominator, by 2, but in this case, I also see something larger. I see 4. Now, if you, you could have divided by 2 and then just divided by 2 again. Either way works. Okay. 8 divided by 4 gives me 2 for my numerator. 36 divided by 4 gives me 9. Now there is a sixth step if you want to call it that. And it is now don't forget check your signs. In this case when we multiply two signs either positive or negative that are the same and that's the case here. They're both the same remember our answer is positive. If one was positive and one was negative, then our answer would be negative. But in this case, they're exactly the same sign. So our answer is a positive two ninths. So what I'd like you guys to do is to go ahead and flip over to your homework on page 315 and try those steps on problem number six. Problem number six. All right, go. Okay, go ahead and turn to your neighbor. 30 seconds, go ahead and share your answer. Go.
Okay, so on number six, all right, on page 315, we have a negative one twelfth times two fifths. All right, so with this, um, I'm going to go ahead. There are no mixed numbers that I need to convert. So what I'm going to then do is ignore the signs, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to multiply. Now, there's actually... We haven't talked about this. We'll talk about it in the near future. There's actually a way that we can reduce right now, okay? But I'm not going to. I'm going to reduce at the end for today. So in this case, step three, I'm going to multiply the numerator. So in this case, one times two gives us two. Step four, right? Multiply the denominators. Twelve times five is sixty. Again, if you didn't know that, it's okay to go over to the side and figure that out, okay? And then, of course, the next thing we need to do is reduce. In this case, they're both even numbers. So I know that for sure that I can reduce by 2, which means we're just splitting these numbers in half. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 60 divided by 2 is 30. Then the last part, do not forget, such a small thing, but it's so important, and that is the signs. And I have a negative times a positive. And ladies and gentlemen, if they're different, our answer is a negative. So negative 1 30th. Okay, so I wrote myself a little note here, but uh, that is just a little reminder, okay? Remember when we talked about word problems when it came to integers, okay? And uh, we talked about being able to know how to identify multiplication or division word problems. Now remember, just a quick, quick review. Remember multiplication is when they give you a, uh, they give you certain amount of groups and then remember they tell you how the size of each group basically how many are in each group or how long each group is depending on the problem and then remember this is multiplication this would have been three times two remember and then multiplication asks you what's the total in this case of course six okay now that is one type of multiplication problem so watch for that okay now of course it's not gonna be three and two right it's gonna be fractions or one of them at least will be a fraction now I want to do want to take this time though and take a look on page 314 at number four okay now what I wanted to share with you is when I originally shared this with you I said this whole idea of multiplication um, that is that will take up a majority of multiplication problems okay the whole concept of multiplication there is one exception especially when you get into fractions so I'm going to go ahead and let's take a look at number four. It says, the weight of an object on Mars is about two-fifths its weight on Earth. It says, how much would an 80 and a half pound dog weigh on Mars? So it's talking about an 80 and one half pound dog on Mars. But here's what they say. On Mars, this is, of course, the Earth weight, earthly weight. On Mars, it's going to be only two-fifths of that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and write what I just said, what came out of my mouth. Two-fifths of 80 and one-half. Now, this is finding what a part of a whole is. And a part of a whole, when it comes to, when it comes to word problems, usually has the word of, and if you probably many of you probably remember this from elementary school, of, when it comes to math, is actually multiplication. So this is the other type of multiplication problem, how a multiplication problem may look. Okay? So guess what? There's our problem. And at this point, I'm just going to go through my steps up here. So it says, go ahead and convert my mixed number to improper fraction. So I have 2 times 80 is 160, plus 1 is 161. So I'm going to go ahead and put down 2 fifths times... 161 over 2. Second step, multiply my numerator. Well, 161 times 2, again, 161 times 2, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 6 is 12, carry the 1, 2 plus 1, that's 322. And then, of course, the next step, multiply my denominator, and that's 10. Now, 
after I get this, I'm going to go ahead and try to reduce. Well, what I said before is the numerator and the denominator are both even numbers. So I can reduce both of them by 2. Now here's the neat thing, right? 10 divided by 2 is 5. Well, look at We just multiplied by 2. Coincidentally, we just multiplied 161 by 2. So 322 divided by 2 is back to 161. Now, here's the thing. I don't want you to forget that this is a word problem. With word problems, you're going to want to convert your improper fraction to a mixed number. So remember what we're going to do then. Oh, sorry. I did forget about the signs, right? But the nice part is I already knew they're both positives. So I don't, since they're both positive or both the same, it's a positive number. I'm going to go ahead and convert this. So 5, remember, bottom into top, into 161. So 5 doesn't go into 1, but it does go into 16. It goes 3 times. Remember, put the 3 over the 6 there. 3 times 5 is 15. Subtract 16 minus 15 is 1, or 6 minus 5 is 1. I bring this 1 down. 5 goes into 11 without going over 2 times. I put the 2 over that 1 that I brought down. So 2 times 5 is 10. Subtract 1 minus 0 is 1. Remember, the remainder is our numerator and then the denominator stays the same it's a 5 and in this particular case right word problem don't forget your units 32 and 1 -fifth. how much would an 80 and a half pound dog weigh on Mars how much would it weigh we'll take a look at the numbers in the problem well two fifths only has the word its afterwards because that's only showing you a portion it's a fraction part of the real thing and the dog the real thing is, is the dog's weight and that's 80 and one half pounds so in this case the units are in pounds 32 and one fifth pounds so with that said I want you to try one out on your homework go ahead and try out problem number 10 this will take you a little while so I'll give you a couple of minutes problem number 10 go Okay, 30 seconds. Go ahead and turn to your neighbor and share. Go.
Okay, so number 10 says the width of a vegetable garden is one-third times its length. If the length of the garden is seven and three-fourths feet, what's the width in simplest form? So here's the thing. We have the vegetable garden one-third times its length. Well, <laughs> it tells you it's not even an of, right? It just flat out tells you it's one-third times its length. Then it goes on to tell you its length. It's seven and three-fourths. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and convert to an improper fraction. So 28 plus 3 is 31. So 31 fourths. And then I'm going to go ahead and multiply straight across top. 31 times 1 is 31. 3 times 4 is 12. So I multiply the denominators. I take a look. And I'm thinking I might not be able to reduce it. But let me go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and convert it back to a mixed number. And once I get it into a mixed number, you'll see it's a little, going to be a little smaller. So I can see if I can convert. So, or uh, reduce, sorry. 12 into 31. So 12 goes into 31 without going over. I know it's like having a dozen. I know two dozen is 24. Three dozen is 36. So in this case, it is only going to go in two times. Two times 12 is 24. I go ahead and subtract. So 11 minus 4 is 7. So I have 2 and put my remainder up here. 7, denominator stays the same. 2 and 7 twelfths. So now don't forget your units. The units it says 7 and 3 fourths is in feet and so that's what this is. 2 and 7 twelfths feet. Alright. So a little review on uh, or a little lesson on multiplication of fractions.